There are several tools built into the software to help you learn the software. If you rest your cursor on an icon, a flag will tell you what that particular icon is. Remember that you can also go into Settings and Options and place a check mark by Show Tool Names, and then when you click OK, all the icons will be named. If you rest your cursor on an icon and press the F1 key, or on certain computers you have to do Function plus F1, the Help menu opens so that you can read more about that icon. If I go to Help and Help Topics, the Help menu opens and there are four different tabs. Let's first look at the Content tab. By clicking on the plus sign in front of the topic, I can drill down and select a topic to read about. Clicking on the forward arrow will take me to the next topic in the contents. Clicking on the backward arrow will take me to the previous topic. When I click on the Index tab, I see a list of topics, and I can simply choose a topic to read about and click on Display, and that will allow me to read about that particular topic. I can also type in a topic and click on Display. If that particular keyword has more entries, I select the one that I want to read about and click on Display, and then I can read about that particular topic. The Search tab lets me type in a keyword and select List Topics, and all the topics related to that keyword will be presented. I simply click on that particular topic and click on Display, and then I can read more about that topic. If there's a particular topic that I would like to have available on a regular basis, I can first select that topic, click on Display, and then go to my Favorites tab. It's currently selected as a current topic. I click on Add, and now it will be available for ready access in my Favorites tab. In the Reference Manual, I can click on the plus sign in front of a chapter and then click on the topic and read about that particular topic. Another handy shortcut to know is Control F. This opens up a search function and I can type in a keyword and click on Next. And by clicking Next, it will take me to the manual pages that have that particular keyword. And then I can read about that keyword. Another handy place in the reference manual is the appendices. And by clicking on the plus sign and going to embroidery fonts, I can read about all the different embroidery fonts. I see a preview and I can also check out the minimum and maximum values that are appropriate for that particular font. The fonts are divided into categories here as well. I can also look at my fancy fills, my step fills, my pattern stamps, and my craft patterns. If I click on the index and click on a topic, this is an alphabetical index, and I just click on the page number, and then I can read about that particular topic. Another area of the help menu is the release notes. And in the release notes, I can read about all the things that are new in this great version of Bernina Embroidery Software H.